Hey iPhone enthusiast, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over some exciting news from the Apple universe. The latest iOS 17.1 update is here, bringing a basket of fresh features to your beloved iPhone. But here's the catch. Some much anticipated features like the journal app are still nowhere to be found. Let's jump right in and see what's cooking in the iOS world. First on our list, let's talk about the additions in standby mode in iOS 17.1. There are now options like a 20 second snooze, an endless never, or a smart automatic mode. Your phone dims in dark, unused environments. Unless of course you pick the never option. Ideal for those who love their beauty sleep uninterrupted. Remember though, this feature is a special treat for users with an always on display. So it's limited to the iPhone 14 Pro and 15 Pro series. Are you one of the lucky ones? Let me show you in the settings what that looks like. Let's start off by navigating to settings. From here, we want to navigate to standby. And now tap on display. Now you'll see these options here to turn your display off. So it'll automatically turn it off after 20 seconds or never. If you set it to automatic, you will have these two options, night mode, which will automatically turn your tent to red, and then motion to wake. If your iPhone senses that there's motion, your display will turn on on standby mode. Now let's swing to the rhythm of Apple Music's new beats. iOS 17.1 makes it super easy to keep track of your favorite jams. See a song that catches your ear? Just hit the star next to its title and add it to your favorites. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in the music app, just go ahead and open music. Right now I'm playing a lot of kids bop. Why? Because I have a three-year-old. Let's say you're playing the song, you'll see this new little star here, which will automatically add it to your favorites. Something so simple and that we should have had a long time ago. Not sure why we have to keep waiting for such simple features like these, but Apple Music just got a little bit more intuitive. Revving up the sharing game. AirDrop in iOS 17.1 is not just an update. It's a revolution. Now, for the first time ever, you will be able to use the internet for AirDrop. This makes it possible to keep sharing your AirDrop files, even if the person that is sharing them has to leave. Ideal for those times where someone is sharing all the vacation photos, but you don't want to wait around for the phone to finish transferring. You will also have a setting to use cellular data or just Wi-Fi to transfer your AirDrop files over the internet. So we'll navigate to settings once again. We'll go into general. And from here, we'll tap on AirDrop. And as you can see here, out of range, you can use cellular data. And if you only want to use Wi-Fi, then you would disable this option. If you don't have an unlimited plan, then I would strongly recommend this option being disabled. So gone are the days where you disconnect too soon and don't receive any of the photos. Next up, ever had that oops moment leaving your flashlight on? iOS 17.1 is here to save your battery's day. When you switch on the flashlight, a nifty icon lights up in the live activities feed. A small but smart touch. But keep in mind, it's mainly for the latest phones, like the iPhone 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, and the iPhone 15 series. Older model users, we feel you. So as you can see here, whenever I turn on my flashlight, I now get this little icon right up here. Unfortunately, this feature seems to be exclusive to phones that have the dynamic island. Because on this 13 Pro Max, when I tap it, I get no icon whatsoever up here. So once again, this icon, this feature is exclusive to the phones which have the dynamic island. All right, tech fam, that's a wrap for iOS 17.1's hottest features. What's your take on these updates? Got a favorite or still waiting for that one feature to drop? Let's get the conversation rolling in the comments below. And hey, don't forget to smash that like button if you found any value in this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.